Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today my gift to you um, is uh, chanting Om Namah Shivaya with me. Um, well, um, you know, in many lifetimes we have different relationship with uh, spiritual higher personalities. I can surely attest for that. And um, so I had many, many lifetimes with Lord Shiva, even on higher dimensions. And um, so when I uh, chanted his uh, mantra, um, it definitely transformed my life. So what you should know about uh, Lord Shiva, you know, he is one of the Hindu principalities. This is called Tri Murti, means three deities. And um, he represents the principle of transformation. Uh, so breaking down the old, used, outdated, and then, um, you know, destroying it, and so to bring in the new. Then the principle of God, the aspect of God that, uh, you know, uh, would then create, would be Brahma, and then Vishnu would be the maintainer of things. And then, you know, everything in the material world um, then gets, again, transmuted, breaks down ultimately. And uh, so this is, you know, the principle of uh, Lord Shiva. Of course, um, some see it as impersonal. And let me just tell you, uh, the actual chanting, you know, starts at this time here. Uh, but uh, before you uh, do this the first time, it's a good idea to listen to this so you get a better understanding. <clears throat> so, uh, Shiva also has a, a personality aspect. Um, some even claim, you know, he came here, you know, was strongly channeled by uh, Babaji in the physical world. I <laughs> had friends uh, that claim that they met Babaji personally and had great mystical experiences. Um, really far out stuff. <laughs> Miracle stuff. Okay. Big time. And um, so... Um, the uh, principle of uh, Lord Shiva or the personality of Shiva is considered to be, he is considered to be the top yogi uh, doing Tantra the whole nine yards, um, does not care much for society uh, regulation, he is a yogi. <laughs> and um, so renounced in harmony with nature, uh, likes Tantra and uh, nobody can really mess with him, so to say. Um, none of the gods, you know, can, can touch him. And he is very, very generous, um, even towards, uh, you know, a not so good uh, minding person. And, well, we, I once, we once asked him, you know, why does he give benedictions easily? And he said, well, in the long run, it all works out. <laughs> uh, this was a very satisfying answer to me. So I would not ask, Lord Shiva for, you know, silly things, uh, because on the long run, uh, you know, you, you pay for those things. Um, but he is he's ex extremely generous, extremely generous as, as such. And um, <clears throat> so when I um, chanted, um, you know, his name, um, my life transformed transmuted, transformed. And it's uh, especially the melody I want to be singing, and that's the reason why I'm singing it. Uh, I just fell also in love with the melody. So now, now, now let me explain a little bit more about uh, the uh, mantra itself. Om is of course considered the sinus wave, the vibration, you know, of the universe, you know, creation, you know, plus minus dark matter and then manifestation. Um, so that is, you know, the first thing. And the Om, uh, you know, can be vibrated in any part of the body, um, though I uh, prefer in this case to vibrate it in my intestines. So I will lay it now. 
<clears throat> let's say into my gut area let's see and i'm kind of uh, rough right now i haven't chanted before so my throat is cold <laughs> it may not sound too good but uh, you will experience the same thing so let's just try so I'm vibrating this now in my intestines and just to show you I'm gonna next time I'm gonna bring it up and vibrate it on top of my head and if you're an empath uh, you're probably gonna feel this the Tibetan monks they like to vibrate it up here uh, but uh, not here in this one so <laughs> Let's try again. And you probably notice that <laughs> good breath work is essential in this, so uh, this is also a very, very good breathing exercise. You will learn how to inhale all the way and exhale all the way and a uh, very long time, which calms the mind, another side effect. So anyhow, the OM, you know, is supposed to be laid in the intestines. Then uh, Na Maha actually means uh, surrender. You know, so I surrender and then Shivaya means to, uh, to Shiva. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the ah sounds like mama or nama, you know, um, vibrates at the heart level the best. Right? So, um, let, uh, let's just do this right now and just focus on your heart and, you know, try to hum with me. There's nothing you can do wrong <coughs> uh, unless you're in the corporate world. Na ma and that was really lame here right now. <laughs> but uh, you know it vibrates, you know, in your heart chakra and I always it whenever you do a mantra or address any higher beings, I strongly advise you to smile. I mean, imagine, you know, these people are really there. That's when you get the effect. I mean, you don't even have to do the mantra anymore. You just call their name and they will come, you know, if, <laughs> if you're sincere. So, uh, but smile, smile, smile. So you are in the love vibration that comes with it. Otherwise, it's uh, relatively offensive and your mantras will not be that effective. Mm -hmm. So uh, then the next one is uh, the Shivaya. This, of course, means Lord Shiva. Uh, but when you vibrate it uh, strong, this E sound, you know, it's kind of uh, vibrates along here and here. So um, just don't make it too harsh. <laughs> But uh, you're giving, you know, your chakras and your subtle body like a workout here. All right, so let's try this. So inhale all the way. Shiva. And of course, then with the ah, ah sound, you know, you're in the heart chakra again. So you peak up, <laughs> you know, your third eye and crown chakra, and then, uh, you know, you settle into your heart chakra again and fluff out. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, there is, um, there's also certain paraphernalia that are used in Shiva worship. Uh, one is the conch shell that is just used for purification before and after is an excellent tool for any purification and then there is also the uh, shiva lingam um, you can see this is a kind of a greenish type of a um, stone and it has like this red dot with a white circle and there um, this is how it's supposed to be 
you know, they're found in a particular river in India and, and are harvested um, by Brahmanas, supposed to. Um, unfortunately, of, of course, you know, there is a big demand and so they take whatever they can find. And so, uh, you know, good luck, but, uh, you know, so this is how it's supposed to look. And then there are also, also the Hudaksha beads. Um, so you can see those. Um, you know, it's good to have them in your hand or in your body. Um, so I'm going to hold the uh, Shiva Lingam here now. Uh, but first, for purification, I'm going to blow the conch shell uh, three times. So let's hope the mic doesn't <laughs> um, blow out either. So that's quite purifying in itself. And now, let's start. You just go along with me. You know, you can't go wrong <laughs> sooner or later. It just will come to you. I mean, I'm starting cold here myself. So just to give you an example. All right? So.
Shiva. Om 
For those of you that are curious, um, I was initiated by Muktananda, Guru Muktananda, from the Siddha Yoga tradition. So, but I have relationship with many deities, also with Source. Do not put me into a category or a box. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Namaste. Namaste.